everybody, Chad here. In this video, we're going to talk about law of assumption versus law of attraction. Okay, what is the main difference? We're going to keep it short, sweet, to the point. I'm not going to dive nitty gritty into these two definitions, but at first and foremost, we're just going to look at what is the main difference if you really want to know. Now, before we get to that, I'm going to post a video right here because I did a training, more of a PowerPoint presentation that really, I mean, it's not boring, by the way. Okay, I don't think it is, but it gives visual aids explaining law of attraction, law of vibration, how to manifest what you want and why you're not really getting what you want. But it has really visual aids. It's not just me standing up here talking. So it's really good if you want visuals. Okay, if you want to see things. It's, a, it's a, just a different learning curve, that's all it is. But I'll post it here, and lo and behold, let's get started with this video. Now, what is the difference between law of assumption and law of attraction? Now, law of assumption is not a new term, okay? And, and it might be something new you just heard. Maybe you're just watching this video and you might think, well, I don't know what the law of assumption is. I've heard of law of attraction, Maybe you've heard of a law of vibration, okay, but you never heard of the law of assumption. Now, you maybe have, now I post a lot of Neville Goddard trainings. Now, he's a really old school prosperity teacher back in the 1920s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. He had some stuff out in the 70s and he passed away in the 70s or early 70s, mid 70s, something like that. But he's the one that really started the law of assumption. Now, in his trainings, he didn't call it the law of assumption. We put that terminology with it. So he didn't do it. But just from his trainings and his principles of manifesting, that's where we get the law of assumption. Now, this is a law of assumption. This is what it means, is that when you're trying to manifest, you assume the end in mind. You assume your wish is already fulfilled. You assume, okay, what you want has already happened. Okay, I'm saying it different ways so you can, you basically understand, but sometimes I can talk confusing. Okay, it's not you, it's me. <laughs> so you, you pretty much, have you ever heard of the term act as if? I mean, some, some prosperity teachers talk about that. I mean, Jack Canfield talks about act as if. Okay, he quoted the term act as if. You know, act as if your desire has already happened. Act as if you already have what you want. That's really kind of the law of assumption. You're assuming your desire has already happened. So let me give you an example. Let's say I want to make $100,000 a year salary. And let's say currently I make $50,000. Okay. So with the law of assumption, I'm assuming I already make $100,000 a year. In my mind, how I act, being confident, when I walk around during the day, I already make $100,000 a year. In my imagination, when I go to bed at night, or in my imagination when I sit back, I'm already dreaming, imagining the lifestyle what $100,000 a year would bring to me. It's already happened. I act as if I already make $100,000 a year. And you do that with anything that you want. Okay, if you want your dream car, okay, when you're using the law of assumption, and there's other steps to it, of course, if you really know the law of assumption, but you assume you already have, you already own your dream car. In your imagination, you see your dream car, you're sitting in it, you're driving it, you feel the leather in the seats. You, you, you know what I mean? You act as if you already have your dream car. Okay, that's the law of assumption right then and there. The simple, purest form, that's the law of assumption. Now, let's talk about law of attraction. Law of attraction, the, the, the simplest form of law of attraction is we attract on level of our thoughts. Our thoughts, positive or negative, attracted to our lives. That's simplest form of law of attraction. We have positive thoughts, positive things will come into our lives. If we stay in negative zone too long, negative thoughts, what negative bring comes into our lives as well. Law of attraction is non-biased. So it doesn't matter if you're a good person or a mean person, a good person or a bad person. Okay? You, no matter who you are, a mean person, but they really correlate believe abundance, well, they're going to attract good into their lives. Makes sense? It's non-biased. Okay? We put a bias with it as human nature, but law of attraction is non-biased. 
So that's really the main difference from law of assumption to law of attraction. Law of assumption, if I could talk, law of assumption again is you assume your wish is already fulfilled. You assume in your imagination you already achieved your desired goal. You act as if you already have what you want. That's a law of assumption. Okay. Law of attraction again is just pure thoughts. We attract to the level of our thoughts, positive or negative. It's non-biased. Doesn't matter what type of person you are. Positive or negative gets attracted to you. Okay. Now, before we go here, those are the main differences between these two terms. But what I want you to do is don't get caught up in these terms. Okay. Lots of times we like, lots of times we like to debate. We like to debate, um, what's real, what's a real definition. Okay. You know, some of my videos, I might be talking about law of attraction. Then someone comments, it's like, well, you really talk about law of assumption. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and there's three terms here. Lots of times I use, okay. Law of assumption, law of attraction, and law of, vibra law of vibration. To keep it simple, all three of these, when you're trying to manifest what you want, interweave together. They really mean the same flipping thing, okay? When you really go down to doing exercises, doing imagination, setting an intent, setting a goal, they interweave together, okay? They're not separate, okay? The one's not here, one's here, one's here. They all interweave together, okay? And it really means the same thing, even if we call it something different. So let me, okay, we got to stop making this too difficult. And once you start getting in, in, into these terminologies, it's making it difficult, okay? The real reason why, why I'm here or you're here is we're both trying to manifest the life that we want. We're trying to manifest things into our life that makes it enjoyable for us. That's what we really want. We don't want to sit here and debate upon what's this, what's that, what specifically is this. Okay, that just wastes time. What we really want is the life that we want. What we really want is learn how to do it, how to manifest, how to get what I want, how to get the life that I want. That's what we really want. That's what we really need to be focused on, not over in the left field, focused on what's the law of assumption? What's really the real term of law of assumption? What's the law of attraction? No, no, I'm talking about what's the real definition. Google says this, <laughs> you know what I mean? And we have this great big debate when it's just a waste of time you, you really want to know how to attract, how to get what you want. Okay. Keep it simple, my friends. Other than that, that's where I'm going to end it. I'll see you in the next video.